Prime Minister, when you look at what is happening in Sri Lanka, did you take the right decision? Oh, I have no doubt. You know, as Prime Minister, I've always taken a principled position on human rights violations. The Commissioner, the UN uh, Human Rights Commissioner, Mrs. Uh, Pillay, came, the report came out also closed. It, was a, it is a damning report. In fact, from what we see, nothing much has been done. Thousands have disappeared. Detainees apparently are still being tortured. Hundreds of Tamil women who have been raped. There has been no investigation. And there is a pressure, as you can see, we see on television, there is pressure on those who want to speak out against uh, what is happening. There has been a total lack of accountability, and I find this completely unacceptable. Some, I must say, were of the opinion that we should go and engage with the Sri Lankan authorities. I am not of that opinion, because it gives the impression that everything is normal when no progress has been made. There are, there are still some grave allegations of human rights violations continuing, and therefore I, I welcome the principled stand first taken by the Canadian Prime Minister, Mr. Stephen, Harp, Mr. Stephen Harper, then by the Indian Prime Minister, Mr. Manmohan Singh. Because we have values, that I say, which are enshrined in the Commonwealth Charter. We must stick to those values. I have taken the decision not to attend for these reasons, in my own deliberate judgment, because there has been no real progress on the, on the, on the issues. And therefore, I was told that by Mr. Sharma, he has repeated it to my foreign minister, that the tradition is that the head of government who wants to host the next Chugam should be present in the country which is actually holding the, the Chugam summit. It is the tradition, it is the convention. So I've instructed my foreign minister that since I have not come to the Chugam in Sri Lanka, I don't want to disturb convention or tradition. I will uh, then uh, somebody else can do the Chogam of 2015. I will withdraw from that uh, from that Chogam. But when you say act, what specifically do you mean? Do you mean intervention in Sri Lanka in some form? No, 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 no. I mean the Sri Lankan government hopefully will act on these uh, demands, start the international independent inquiry, and uh, and we can get some results. And don't try to reverse the process of devolution in the north. I think these are the two things that we have to ensure that Sri Lanka does. And what if they do not deliver? What happens then? <laughs> then we'll have to, to think of uh, other things. I think uh, we cannot just uh, condone everything that is wrong and just say we can't do anything. Can you be more specific? I mean, that this is what nobody is spelling out. You know, people are saying, well, the outside world will act, the outside world will demand an independent investigation. In practice, you can't force the Sri Lankans to do anything. I presume you're not going to invade Sri Lanka in order to have a, an investigation or, or support any kind of UN uh, intervention force. So isn't the truth that if Sri Lanka chooses not to cooperate, there's nothing the outside world can do? Yes. No, I don't agree with you. Uh, what we can start by doing is suspend uh, membership, or even uh, at least we can do that, as we have done for other countries in the past. We can look at different sanctions that we can take. Uh, Britain, I understand, is supplying arms to Sri Lanka. They should put an embargo on this, and things like this.